What is up, everybody? It's Troop from Troop Talks here. And what you're about to watch is Jaguars Train Camp Reaction Review and News, Episode 4. We talk about two wide receivers that are emerging as Nick Foles' favorite targets of training camp. We also talk about an annual tradition that the Jaguars do every single year. And we talk about another weird offensive line along with more as well. Now, if you haven't already, go ahead and drop a like down below, especially if you think Tree needs a haircut. Also, hit that subscribe button. Click the bell icon to get notified every time one of these videos go live. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's hop into the video. What is going on, everybody? It is Treeb from Treeb Talks here for Jaguars Training Camp Reaction Review and News, episode number four. Now, there's two wide receivers so far for the Jaguars that are emerging as the number one targets for Nick Foles and company. We also have an annual tradition like no other during Jaguars training camp that we are going to show you and discuss just a little bit. And we also have another weird offensive line combination to talk about. So let's waste no time and hop right into the video. This is the Jaguars training camp reaction, review, and news, episode 4. So today's news isn't as jam-packed because the practice actually got rained out, so most of it... Um, was not seen by the public, so we couldn't get a whole lot of information. But we do have a little bit, and starting off with the Jaguars annual helmet carry. Now, this is a tradition that the Jaguars do every year. They have a kid. Uh, I think it might be from a foundation. I'm not 100% sure. If you do know more about the uh, annual helmet carry, leave it in the comments down below. But I just know they have, I think it's just local kids hold the players' helmets and walk out to the practice field. Uh, with the player that they are assigned to. It's an awesome tradition. It gets these kids, you know, to see these NFL players, especially a local NFL team that they are obviously fans of, and to hold their helmet and walk them out to the field, I'm sure is a big blessing. I would have loved that as a kid. And it's a dope thing that the Jaguars do every single year, and it's one of the always most anticipated events of Jaguar training camp all year long. Coming up next, we're talking about D. DJ Chark. DJ Chark is emerging as one of Nick Foles' favorite targets throughout training camp. He made four to five great sideline catches, as reported by those that were in attendance for Jaguar training camp. Unfortunately, there are no videos that I can show you of DJ Chark's amazing catches, but from the reports I've seen, he is emerging as one of Nick Foles' favorite targets. Now, this is a guy that we were really hoping was going to break out and kind of break out of his shell in 2008, 2018, but he never really had the opportunity to. You know, he would... He wasn't making fantastic plays. In fact, he looked kind of awkward out there. But this might be the year that he kind of comes around and shows us, hey, this is the player you're supposed to get my rookie year. I'm a dominant wide receiver. I'm tall. I can make these 50-50 catches. And that's what he's been doing throughout training camp thus far. And hopefully he continues and it carries on into the regular season because we need all these wide receivers to step up and be really good targets for Nick Foles and to be reliable targets for him during the regular season and to build that chemistry is huge and the fact that he's getting it with DJ Chark out of all people is a good sign and it's a good sign to see that DJ Chark might go off in 2019. Coming up next we're talking about another wide receiver D.D. Westbrook. Throughout training camp thus far, D.D. Westbrook has been one of the main wide receivers, if not the main wide receiver, that Nick Foles has been hitting up and has built a lot of chemistry with. D.D. is also making plays while Jalen Ramsey's covering him, so you know that D.D. Westbrook is also a great player, and Nick Foles is giving him the throws necessary to be successful and to make plays, which is huge for the Jaguars, and it's huge to see that Nick Foles is building that chemistry with D.D. Westbrook. Come and look at this great catch D.D. Westbrook made during training camp today. That video again, courtesy of my guy, Colt Take Chris, on Twitter. Again, his Twitter will be in the bio if you want to give him a follow. He's a great person to follow on Twitter for training camp updates. Now, D.D. Westbrook, it's awesome that he's doing this, and it's awesome he's going off because he was a guy that I was a little... I was a little bit on the fence about to say that he was going to come out and really dominate. Because last year, sure, he had a pretty good season, but he really didn't emerge until later on in the season. And, you know, I wasn't too 100% sold on him. But the fact that Nick Foles is really building this chemistry with Didi and is really showing that Didi Westbrook has the potential to be the receiver that he was in college, you know, a number one true guy that could be, you know, one of the best in the league. You know, it's awesome. It's awesome to see. And I'm very excited to see how D.D. Westbrook develops. And I'm more excited to see how the chemistry with him and Nick Foles develops because this is going to be a connection 
this season that could be deadly for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Next up, we're talking about another weird offensive line combination for the Jaguars today. So the starting offensive line today was Josh Wells, Andrew Norwell, Brandon Linder, Thomas, and Cedric Ogobaye. Why did I not say Thomas's first name? Because I have no idea who that is. I don't. I can't tell. I don't know who that is. I looked at the depth chart. I'm like, Thomas? Who's Thomas? Do you guys know who Thomas is? If you guys know who Thomas is, leave it in the comment section down below. Because ya boy is very, very, very confused. Don't know who that is. If you guys know who it is, leave it in the comment section down below. Your boy might just be stupid and it might be somebody obvious and I might just be missing it. But I honestly have no idea who that is. But the crazy thing, too, is that he is taking AJ Can's spot, a guy that we always talk about. His spot's never safe, but it seems like, you know, the Jags are extending him. They're giving him more opportunities. He's basically a lock at that guard position. But now it seems like they're going to do away with AJ Can, and they're really going to try and find out who the right guard's going to be because today AJ Can was taking reps as the second string center. Now, in my opinion, if you are going to, you know, have AJ Cam be the second string center, whatever, you know, practice him, have him do that, be a number two, awesome, cool, you made that decision, it's probably the best decision for the team, but why not bring Tyler Shatley in at guard? I think that he would be a solid guy to fit in there, he's a utility guy, he could play center, he could play guard, he could play tackle, he could do it all, you know, I would probably put Tyler Shatley over this Thomas guy, whoever that is, and you know, I, I'm pretty embarrassed, I don't know who that is, and again, if it's very obvious, I'm going to be kicking myself in the ass, but I would have gave Taylor Shatley a fair shot to get that guard position, but again, it is also early in training camp, and this could all just be nothing, and we're all making it a bigger deal than it needs to be, but I felt like it needed to be addressed, that this offensive line has another weird starting combination, and AJ Cans practicing more with the twos than the ones. And finally, today's camp MVP was rookie defensive end Josh Allen. Josh Allen today practiced with the number ones during 11-on-11s. Josh Allen, mostly throughout training camp thus far, has been focusing more on the individual drills and doing that kind of stuff. He hasn't been practicing with the starters, but today he was out there practicing with the starters. And you know that's probably because Yannick Ngakwe isn't at camp, you know, or whatever, but... This defensive line could be cold if we move Calais like inside and then we have Marcel, Calais, Yan, and Josh like that. Just send me to heaven. That's a great offensive line. But he did well in the 11-on-11s. He did well in 1-on-1s. Uh, he beat Cedric Ogobaye and Josh Wells, which I don't think is saying too much. Those are probably the worst offensive linemen that we have right now. And as of now, are starting at those positions. But we are waiting kind of for Jay Wan Taylor to develop and waiting for Cam Robinson to come back. But it's good to see Josh Allen dominate. It's good to see that your first-round draft pick doesn't go out and tears ACL first day of practice or at all hopefully. So Josh Allen having a good day is big news for the Jaguars. It's big news for Josh Allen and it's big news to see how well he's going to be in 2019 and what kind of role he's going to play next year as well. And that was Jaguars training camp reaction review and news episode four. What'd you guys think? Leave your comments down below. Don't forget to check the links down below as well. You can like me on Facebook at Troop Talks. Follow me on Twitter at Troop Talks. Follow me on Instagram at Trey Vaughn Pixley. Also, if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. Click the bell icon so you get notified every single time I drop a new video. I drop new content on this channel six days a week. Ain't nobody out working me. Them are just straight facts. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as always, you guys have a great rest of your day.